Thoroughbreds is written and directed by Corey Finley and it stars Olivia Cook, Anya Taylor Joy, Anton Yelchin and Paul Sparks. And this film is one of those that I was really looking forward to watching this year, mainly because it looked just so different, so very different. And uh, it has a great cast, it has very intriguing premise, and I have to say this is not at all what I was expecting it to be, but it's still a very darn great movie. First of all, this film kind of defies uh, genres. It is more of a drama, but it's also very much a thriller, but it's, it's a mixture of the two things, and uh, it's a very weird, weird movie, which is also slightly darkly funny in its own sick way, and what is it about? Well, this film is about Olivia Cook and Anya Taylor-Joy. They are two old friends from school, and uh, one day Olivia Cook pretty much goes nuts. But not nuts in the usual way that we expect characters to be. Simply put, she's a sociopath. She is uh, fully aware of how society works, how people act, but she feels absolutely no emotion and no feelings for anything or anyone. And uh, it's a weird character, undeniably so. And you see Anya Taylor Joy's character, and you go, okay, like she's, she's more normal than her. But the longer the film goes on, you start seeing that these two characters are not so different. And uh, Anya Taylor Joy is living a very empty life, one that she hates especially because of her stepfather, who is played by Paul Sparks. And so these two girls decide to commit uh, a very bad crime. And this film is. It's almost plotless. It's more about the characters themselves and the interactions between one another. And Cook and Joy do a fantastic job in this film. Some of the best performances they've given. You've seen Olivia Cook in Bates Motel and Ready Player One. And Anna Taylor Joy was in The Witch and um, uh, Split. And they are both fantastic in this film for different reasons. Especially Anna Taylor Joy, she stole the film for me. She was. Uh, a, very a very relatable character with a very tragic story and even Olivia Cook is very interesting but then we also got these side characters for example the creepy ass stepfather who is just uh, the first time he's introduced uh, how he's looking at Olivia Cook it's uh, it's pretty really like it's pretty nasty <laughs> and then then you also got Anton Yelchin the late Anton Yelchin another actor who unfortunately died way too young, and this is his final performance, unfortunately, and he is fantastic in this film as well. He is relatively more grounded in reality, even though he plays a drug dealer, a very low-key uh, drug dealer, but oof, the, the performances, as I've said, in this film are great, and it is a very slow-moving film in pretty much every sense of the way. You've got a very eerie and atmospheric sound in every scene with background noises, these are used to amp up the tension slowly. You've got these long, steady cam shots that follow characters around the house. These uh, locked-in uh, camera angles of two people talking. It's uh, for a, for a film that was pretty much an adaptation of a never-made um, play. It is it is very cinematic in its looks, and that is definitely something that the director, Colin Finley. Corey Finley was going for, which is which is something that I really appreciate. I appreciate the directors trying to make, even with the, let's say, not Dallas, but with the most static stories, something visually interesting. And uh, it works so well, the cinematography is gorgeous. And uh, I was expecting this film to be a little more colorful, especially if you've seen the posters and the promotional material. It uses a lot of vibrant colors, but that's misleading. I was expecting colors to just pop out of the screen. It is not, it's actually slightly desaturated, but it works for the story because, then again, I was expecting this to be a funny film. It's darkly comical in its own way, but uh, it gets serious, it gets uh, slightly disturbing, slightly thrilling, even though there isn't anything graphic or truly scary happening. But it has this very eerie atmosphere, and very believable even, that truly gets under your skin. And uh, I kind of love this experience. It definitely is not for everyone, especially for its slow pacing, because 
It's one of those films that really does not have a real story, and the pacing is very slow, it's mostly characters talking and walking around this mansion, but uh, if you can stay with it, it's a very rewarding film, especially the ending, which really, really hit hard. In the final 10 minutes of the film, they were, they were fantastic. So guys, uh, definitely go watch Thoroughbred. It's had like a really, sh a really small theatrical release in the US some a couple of months ago. It's released now in, on digital worldwide, so definitely check it out if you can. And uh, it's very worth watching. One of the best films I've seen so far this year, and very unusual, very peculiar, and very different. But still, guys. If you watched Thoroughbred, do you like or do you dislike? Tell me in the comments below. Tell us what you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.